I used to think always. I used to think that uh, if I join spoken classes, then I can only speak this language. So uh, now I think that it was my wrong mentality hmm. because uh, I have done my post graduation in English literature and I was able to teach. But it was my fault that I never practiced on this language. Am I audible? You know, first time. Yes, yes, you are audible. And uh, you, uh, first time I am using this app, so I have no idea. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, and and first time when people use it, first time they have to give the permission to their audio, and they join uh, with uh, Zoom call. Yes. Okay. Anyways, uh -huh. let's start today's session. So first of all, I welcome you to the session. And good afternoon. How are you? Very good afternoon. I am pretty good. And thank you for asking. And uh, yes, thank you for it that you have you have accepted. Hey, you are with me, so I'm very happy. I'm feeling like I'm over the moon. Actually, it's my heart's desire. I wanted to connect with you for a long time, but today I have got this opportunity, so mm -hmm. I'm feeling very happy. Okay, thank, yeah. thank you so much for connecting and thank you so much for supporting me. As you know, when you joined with your profile picture, I got to know, okay, yeah, I got a lot of uh, comments from this profile particular. So I know you have been watching my videos for a really long period of time and you support me always. So I just want to show just, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to say thank you for that. And uh, yes, it's my pleasure. Your videos are, you know, always commendable and really very, very informative, not only for myself, for all beginners and learners, everyone. That That is what I wanted to do. I want to discuss with you today. We will discuss in a deeper level, the YouTube particularly. But before that, before just uh, discussing further the topic, I just want to know about you a bit first. Okay, sure. So first of all, thank you very much, dear, to give me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am Anjana and I'm connecting to you from UP, District Farukhabad. I'm originally from Kanpur, but yeah, I got married in Farukhabad. That's why I'm here. And uh, if I talk about my qualification, so I have done my post-graduation in English literature from Kanpur University. And mm -hmm. if I talk about my hobbies, so I love teaching, listening, music. Apart from that, I run a YouTube channel. Its name is Anjana Educational Videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to enhance my communication skills. That's why I am uploading conversational videos on my YouTube channel. That's it. Okay, so you are also a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, you know, you can understand that, uh, you know, we are surrounded with Hindi environment. And uh, if we, I run YouTube channel, so through YouTube channel, I get so many co-learner co for practicing. That's why I am using. You get the exposure, yeah. you get the environment because of YouTube. Okay, so hi, Anjana. Of course, my name is Rajni and I welcome you to my platform that is Try to Thrive. Uh, yeah, uh, so... I, if I talk about my qualification, I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU and I am from Shri Ganganagar, Rajasthan, that is on the border of Punjab. I am a YouTuber. Currently, I provide paid sessions too to beginners. Uh, and uh, apart from that, if I talk about my hobbies, I love reading books and talking to different people from different diverse background, diverse culture in order to enhance my communication skills and if I can add some value in uh, their life or their journey of learning English. So I just love to do that. Uh, yeah, so that's all about me. Yeah, I am happy to hear about you. Such a lovely introduction. Yes. And okay. uh, as you told me that you love reading books and I have heard many times in your video that you love reading books. I also love reading books, but uh, I don't have so much time. That's why I'm unable to read. But yeah, I love also. Hmm. Yeah, you have shared that you have done your post graduation in English literature. So you must have that, uh, you know, keen uh, nature or maybe you are already fond of reading books. That's why. Because in uh, yes, yes. I guess masters, we have to read a lot of novels. And I, I don't know exactly, but yeah, uh, it is literature yeah. again. So 
yes yes so when i was doing a masters that time you know i used to read so many books uh, shakespeare milton there were so many poets and writer but now i am not into reading so i have forgot but uh, as far as i remember all these things so attracts me lot because i love poetry i love literature because you know we find uh, so many i mean uh, uh, vis- uh, intellectual things in uh, book Hmm. like you know i always think that uh, if we read books so there are so there were so many scholars who have written books right hmm. so scholars are not with us but in the di- indirect way they are with us through books you know when we read books we can imagine that they are with us and these are those are you know uh, incredible lectures are given by those hmm. scholars so we never feel that they are not with us with word they are with us every time totally that's why i love books yes, are lovely. yes books are uh, always lovely for everyone i i can relate with it whenever i read books i feel connected to the author i feel like connect that author is directly talking to me he is suggesting me whatever i read yes. I, I, i am connected yes. to the author so yeah that is yes. exactly relevant a lot yes uh so uh let's discuss the topic that is youtube i want to discuss about youtube and i genuinely want to know a lot of things about it uh from a viewer's perspective as i am a youtuber i am a working over youtuber and, over youtube and i aspire to become a successful youtuber so now it is my genuine yeah. concern to know my viewer's perspective or how they see my videos how my videos are helping them and how uh, like they want to see me in upcoming videos or maybe how i can add more values in their life or in their uh, english learning journey basically yeah because that my youtube channel is totally inclined towards that one thing which is english or we, we can call it communication skills right so first tell me since yeah. when have you been watching my videos Mm I'm not sure but uh, for a long time I'm following you hmm. uh, I I have been following you and uh, as far as I listen your videos so your videos are really very very helpful for everyone actually you know we are learner like I am learning english and there are so many uh, viewers who are connected with you so they also want to learn something and we have same questions right hmm. if you know today I am connecting with you and uh, earlier i was not connected with you and you if you are talking with other person so there are you know same questions so we get reply we get reply and if we, we are listening a uh, whole conversation so sometimes i feel that oh i this was my questions and i got this reply i should implement those things on my speaking so mm-hmm. that's how you know yeah we can learn sometimes people always think that i have this questions and i should discuss to that person but uh, i think that if you if you are you know regularly watching any videos any if you following any youtuber daily you are uh, watching all videos so you will find all answers of your questions because mm-hmm. i feel so sometimes i watch uh, uh, like uh, um tutor videos you know so we have uh, the co learner has same questions like i used to think so i got uh, reply from that video and uh, try to implement the, those all things in my speaking so that's how i try to improve mm-hmm. so yes and if i talk about that uh, in coming videos you should uh, apply the advanced structure because mm-hmm. uh, we 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 are habitual to uh we have seen lot of videos uh, f- uh, for improving beginner and uh, you know learner but uh, you should made lot of videos related to advanced learner that uh, how can they de- how can they develop hmm. how how they can become advanced or maybe how they can overcome how they can just overcome the intermediate plateau uh, uh that i yes. was experienced personally intermediate plateau when i was beginner i was improving but after a certain period of time in between i also felt stagnant and stuck i was putting effort yeah. into it 
I was doing all the practices every single day, but there was no improvement. Like there was improvement, but I was not able to feel or see the conspicuous changes or improvements in myself. So uh, that is one, I think, uh, very, very important now for intermediates and then how to become advanced. So how to become advanced is like right now I'm living, right now I am trying to become advanced. So that is one thing I can bring uh, in my YouTube channel in upcoming sessions. But again, it is like uh, I am trying to become advanced and I'm certain that one day I will be. But the thing is the people yeah. who talk to me, the people come to me and have conversation with me on a regular basis. They sometimes are very beginner. Sometimes they are just intermediate. Yeah. Very rarely I get any advanced speaker, advanced speaker like uh, I can share like uh, one was uh, Surbhi, Surbhi Goyal. She is a tutor on English. Yes. You must have watched the video. So that conversation I yeah. also enjoyed and we discussed a lot of the uh, struggles and journey again about learner and how they, how we can incorporate things and how we can learn, overcome, a lot of things we discussed. Second, I got like, uh, like two or three other are also like uh, Shanta. And after that, I for both of them, I talked to Sunil sir and uh, one more teacher was there. I forgot the name. Gaurav sir, yes. Sunil sir, Gaurav sir, Shantha yeah. and then Surbe Goel. Yeah. So like very, very rarely I get, you know, advanced speakers. So that's yeah. why it's difficult yeah. to bring advanced conversation. But yeah, I will try my level best to incorporate new vocabulary, new expressions in my way yeah. of speaking at least so I can just deliver the appropriate, the adequate vocabulary or content to my viewers. Okay. How often basically sure. you watch YouTube? How often? Uh, you know, to be very honest, I remain very busy. I don't have the enough leisure time. Actually, by profession, I'm teacher also, not going to school. But uh, yeah, my husband is a teacher. So he runs an institute. So I have to go there daily at three, after three. That that's why I told you earlier that I I'm not free after three, mm -hmm. yeah. So I go daily there, and uh, as you know that I'm a homemaker, so I have so many household responsibilities. Yes. So whenever I remain busy with my work, like I'm in kitchen, bathroom, and uh, I'm doing my household chores, that time I have time to listen conversational videos, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, one thing I do that uh, always I tell to my uh, co-learner when they join to us, the, they join to me, that I listen, uh, I don't like to listen one video only once. I listen that video again and again. Hmm. You know, how can we say that in one time I can cover all these sentences, all the structures, all the vocabulary, we can't uh, gain. Because, you know, but, you know, I have found something that people feel, you know, bored if they watch the video again. Hmm. But if you are learning something, so it's required that you should watch again and again the same video. Right. Because when we like I am teacher, so I understand it that if I give something to learn my students and if they are reading one page only once. So how can they learn? You know, they have to read again and again one para until they learn very well. So in the same way, I want to say to every viewer that please, if you want to learn English, if you are not, uh, you know, enjoying, like you are not taking enjoy from that video, you are really serious to learn anything. So watch that thing again and again until you learn, until you grab it. Yes. So I do it because I don't have time for reading. I love reading, but I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I love reading and I love writing and I don't have time. So I have time for only listening. But you know, when we listen, that time we can do other things also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I listen and I listen again and again one video until I grab all those um, all those uh, things, mm -hmm. all those sentences. Yeah, that's how I learned. Because uh, six months ago, I was unable to express a single idea about me. So one mm -hmm. when I started my speaking journey, since months ago, one month, you know, I indulged myself into YouTube 
I created my own environment that every time I have to hear, I have to listen English, I have to speak English, and uh, I have to read English. Yeah, that's how I got fluency in one month. Not fluency, like I was, and now I'm able to express my thoughts between all I have. I can connect with you. I can make you understand, and I can understand you. So yeah, I think that uh, if I am continued with my journey, so one day I can say that I may become fluent. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's wonderful that you have created environment for your own self. Even uh, you have to do yeah. the household chores, you have to go there for teaching for your job yeah. too. So at the same time, you created the environment because you understand the you know necessity of the education as a yeah. teacher. You know, as you share yeah. that, I know if I'm reading something, if I'm not getting that one page reading at once. I should read it again and again. The paragraph. I should revise the uh, the video again and again until I until I get yeah. every information, every bit of information, or the vocabulary, structure, sentences, everything. Yeah. Similarly, I also tell uh, to my all of all of students and my learners and viewers that watch the video again and again. If you find something useful in the video. I also got the yes, same yes. of uh, things like okay, we feel bored. We cannot watch the similar videos. Then now I suggest them that you know uh, you can watch after three days because when you are watching yes, the same yes. video after three days, then even you are already forgotten that okay, what you watched, you have already forgotten. So yeah, that yeah. is new for you after yes, three yes. days if you are watching. So that is new for you. So this trick you can try like if you feel bored. And you can watch after three days. Then after three days, maybe you can decide particular days to like on Monday and then on Thursday and then on Sunday. So that will also be helpful for you. And at the same time, you will, uh, you know, refrain from becoming monotonous or something like that. Okay. Uh, yes, so, yeah. hmm. Okay. So, uh, what like maybe the primary purpose for you, uh, consuming content over YouTube is just learn English, or is there any other purpose too? behind uh, watching youtube videos uh, while watching videos hmm. like do you watch other videos too like what is your primary purpose of uh, consuming content over youtube yeah like uh, you are asking about me that i upload video no no you watch videos right so your primary purpose yes, what yes. i am getting is to learn the language or work upon your communication skills. So, is there any yeah. other purpose too behind it, like entertainment purpose, or maybe you want to know about history, about things, maybe other subjects? Any other purpose behind that, or just communication or English? No, only communication skill, and uh, you know, as a teacher, like I am a teacher, so I want to upgrade myself, and I want to update myself for my students because I think so that being a teacher is my responsibility that I should cover and learn new new things. You know, because if I am able to learn, I am able to express myself, so I can teach all things to my students because we should learn new new things according to era. Like when I was a student. That time English was not so much cr uh, crazy. I was from Hindi medium school, and mm -hmm. you know, one hour I used to learn English and uh, not learn as a language. Only I used to learn like it's uh, my subject, and I have to pass the examination. It was like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I'm from very you know low background. My parents are not so much literate, and I was the eldest child of my family. But I I love this language since my childhood. I love this language. And that time, you know, we didn't have a social media, so we didn't know, we didn't have idea that how can we speak. I used to think always. I used to think that uh, if I join spoken classes, then I can only speak this language. So uh, now I think that it was my wrong mentality mm -hmm. because uh, I have done my post graduation in English literature and I was able to teach, but it was my fault that I never practiced on this language. Yes. But you know, YouTube is really, uh, YouTube is really, you know, boon for me. That when I came into YouTube and I found so many YouTuber and uh, person who related to um, rural area, they are able to speak in English. Then I, you know, believed in myself. I changed my mindset. Then no, no, no. I know English and I can also speak. So that's how I started, you know, watching uh, conversational videos. And I am learning this language for my students. 
actually when i teach my students i teach you know academic education like uh, 9 to 12th students and uh, they are comes student 1 to 8th also so i want to provide them english environment and i always say to them that you don't only read english try to speak english just now because when you will grow up you will not used to join any spoken classes if you start speaking just now because you know i teach tenses so that time i think that if they are they know very well that how to form sentences so as well as they also can you know speak that sentences that's how they can speak very well yeah along you know, with their sub important Hmm. yeah along with their subject so in my coaching not only i teach uh, sub, as a subject english i always inspire to my students not only write in and be try to speak like i say to my student stand up form this sentence not only write you know it's like yeah. mouth exercise that mm -hmm. convert in your mind you know mm -hmm. children always feel very easy to write that ma'am can i write the sentence so i say yes you can write but no 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 this time you don't write stand up and convert into mind because it's like a practice you will uh, can become uh, you know when we try to convert sentence again and again then mind mind you know grab these things that it's yes. uh, been it's uh, become habitual of converting you know soon Hmm. because most of the people uh, why they are not able to speak always say that i can understand english i can't speak english but because you never speak you never practice that's why you are not able to speak hmm. when yeah. it comes to so take action, action actual practice they are willing to do that yeah. they are reluctant they are not willing yes yeah. they are reluctant to do that yes and i salute you mm -hmm. that you are because india needs teachers like you uh, despite having this much responsibilities despite having you know challenges in your life in your way still you strive to incorporate new skills in yourself and you learn day by day from youtube you upgrade yourself and upgrading ourselves is yes. again really important because recently you know yes. uh, maybe two days back my sister visited a school the government school in our in our village itself so she was saying saying that yeah. no teacher was teaching in the class students were playing some were using their mobile phones some were just talking some uh, student uh, teachers were just talking to each other this is pathetic and i think this is really sad because those kids are, are right now this is like they are you know foundation uh, the teachers are responsible yes. to, you know build their foundation so it should be really strong in uh, you know the yeah. primary school if till 5th uh, standard if they are not getting the proper adequate education in a right manner after that they will start doubting themselves because the teacher when they uh, you know uh, yeah. uh, change the school or when they go in the higher classes teachers directly say you yeah. are not uh, you are dumb or you are you don't know this you don't know the meaning of this word uh, and you are very weak and these kind of you know things yeah. teacher again itself started saying in the class then the student again uh, you know their the students mindsets also start thinking like this okay i am not able maybe this is not for me maybe i am yeah. not intelligent i am very weak weak these kind of stuff yeah. you know students starts thinking so teacher really has a lot of responsibility and we should take the responsibility uh -huh. very seriously yeah. and uh, i think if you are a teacher so you should never stop your learning journey because the learning is an endless process how can you say that now you have selected and you are perfect no yeah. one is perfect you know some are higher some are lower you will find always uh, you know a senior to you like yes. you are growing and you will yeah. always find that there is someone who is senior to you so i think no one is perfect whatever knowledge we have just mm -hmm. you give your 100% knowledge to your um, uh, students so that's yes. how i do and i love teaching that's why i think i have so much energy to teach my students great yes great. i mean teaching is my passion See, they just want to tell you that i have seen lot of teachers that they always think i have to you know complete i have to make complete syllabus of students and then i will get leave that it's enough it's my work i have done but i don't think so you know whatever when i teach my students so i always think that he really is interested or not he has really completed his all work or not and whatever i am teaching him so he is getting or not i am really always worried for them 
and uh, i check students because you know if there are 30 students in my class so i can't say that those 30 students are same because different uh, mindset they have and different understanding they have so mm -hmm. sometimes i have to uh, i have to call the uh, you know uh, person to person uh, students uh, one by one that uh, if you don't uh, understand better so come to me i will use different trick to understand you because mm -hmm. i have experience so i know that if you don't know this thing so how can i make you understand so different type of tricks i use for making them understand then i get satisfaction that yeah i have done something well great 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 uh, you are really really such an incredible teacher i must say because a person who tries to you know upgrade and learn every day and yeah i agree with you like in uh, one class if there are 30 students everybody has different mindset and different capabilities to, to get the things yes, some yes. people are able to grasp even when you uh, you know explain the formula explain the better yeah, yeah. ones some uh, students require time they take time they want to learn or yeah. read that for two or three or more time times then only they get yeah. exactly what the pattern is and they are then they are able to so not every student is similar yeah exactly yeah. Uh, i also uh, feel that and you know uh, recently uh, when i when i whenever i take classes whenever whenever i take online sessions i at the end of the session i ask my students to like give feedback feedback to me too uh, where i am lacking yeah. in as a trainer i need to improve so this is very very um, important to understand uh, like we should also understand like we have to upgrade and i also believe in that that learning is a lifelong process you are you cannot be perfect but there is a room for improvement so you can you should always strive for improvement yeah okay so uh, next i want to know like uh, do you mostly watch solo videos like people create on uh, solo videos where they share their tips and tricks and how they you can improve how you can incorporate new vocabulary or something like that yeah. uh, and there are content which is totally inclined towards conversational videos so which uh, you watch the most conversational or solo videos yeah both i watch uh, when i came into youtube so i thought that yeah their speech is good so that time i like solo video as also like uh, when i started my speaking journey so first time i used to watch um, alina rice i started my speaking journey with uh, after listening alina rice and that time you know i felt motivated uh, because there are so many solo videos uh, is creating uh, is created by uh, elena so mm -hmm. i have watched after that i started watching uh, conversational videos so both i love both i love to listen you learn from both kind of uh, videos okay oh, okay so yes. what, like you know uh, people watch randomly like when they you know start uh, watching videos on youtube they start re watching randomly so nowadays i think what i can know till now you are maybe striving to become advanced you are somewhere intermediate or upper intermediate speaker so do you just start watching a video of after having a thought in your mind that what are the areas i need to focus upon because in communication skills there are three aspects we need to focus upon first is non verbal communication which holds 55% out of 100 which is huge that we people just you know uh, avoid that is 55% in which we have to focus upon the body language the facial expression then eye contact you know the posture how we are keeping ourselves the second is 38% which is tonality in which tone in which pace speed rhythm if there is fluctuation in the way of speaking so this is 35 yeah. percent, uh, 38% sorry again people uh, you know avoid this and they don't focus on that third uh, remains only 7 7% which is words or the language you speak that is only 7% yeah. out of 100 and we focus on that like this much we focus on 7% so we can think now like how much we should focus upon that 55% and 38% too. So do you keep now a thought in your mind when you go for watching a movie or when you go for consuming content over YouTube? 
yeah sure i definitely think about it and always i want to uh, i try to listen those type of videos like they are advanced and their body language is also superb mm -hmm. and uh, everything is fine like uh, asutosh sir uh, do you know asutosh as official mm -hmm. so because you know i i love uh, their uh, i love their videos because he always uh, he all uh, mostly he make video with um, um tutor yes. mostly he make video with tutor yeah mm. so i always think that if i can't afford tutor so if i am listening tutor so there are so many guidance we can take Absolutely. that uh, advices and guidance if they are providing to that co learner so we can learn a lot from that th those guidance and we can implement on myself yes, that's how i learn and yes i also surbi uh, videos i always watch her videos because she is also a tutor mm -hmm. and uh, yes you are also my favorite so yeah there are um, three or four person i always love to listen them yeah thank you so much because thank as you. i told you that i don't have so much time so mm -hmm. whenever i have time so Uh, three or four alina rice uh, she doesn't upload daily but uh, if any time she uploaded any upload any video so i like to listen her also mm -hmm. yeah so there are selected person uh, to whom i love to listen mm -hmm. yeah. yes we, we should be wise enough while choosing book, uh, videos because we are you know uh, allocating we are investing our time into it so we should always yeah. be wise enough like what kind what content i am going to consume now and what are the major areas i need to focus upon like i always tell my yes. students like if you focus on uh, the more you focus on the smallest feedback you get the faster you learn no matter the feedback is given yeah. to anyone like if you are watching a video and if you see the uh, like any kind of feedback is given to the learner and you feel that you also need to focus upon that thing so keep that feedback and take that feedback yeah. self and focus on the smallest feedback yes, yes. we learn faster okay uh, yes. so uh, and i believe in one thing you know if you know your weakness very well so yes you can overcome from the, that weakness if you don't know your weaknesses so how can you come how can you work on that weakness so it's uh, yes. very essential that if we are mature and i'm talking to you so i know very well that uh, where i have done mistakes and uh, next time i have not i ha i don't have to do the same mistakes that's how i learn hmm. i want to know personally uh, what kind of videos like uh, you already shared that you want to see advanced conversational videos on my youtube channel uh, besides that if i ask you what else do you uh, like to watch on my youtube channel yeah i would like to watch that uh, like i always think that you are really perfect your english uh, your way of talking and uh, like you guide any beginner so that's all amazing so always i want to i want to see you on that platform that you are you know guide guide and you are tutor and uh, you are you know uh, giving feedback to other person and uh, you are trying to make them correct because uh, that's how they can learn Mm -hmm. and i would also want to know about myself that as far as you are learning to me oh, sorry you are listening to me continuously mm -hmm. so i want to know my weaknesses that what you find mm -hmm. okay yes i have observed that sometimes you speak a little faster a little faster little mm -hmm. bit slow down like, like i think you have a lot of things in your mind because only people who have a lot of experience a lot of thoughts background knowledge in their mind only they speak faster i have some students yeah. they speak only they you know end up saying one answer giving one answer a one line answer then i ask them to try to elaborate so it means they don't have much background knowledge or maybe much experience as you seem to yeah. me like very good observer while watching you observe yes, yes, yes. well maybe and when when you go out you observe your students very carefully and then you are very attentive and only that's why you have a lot of knowledge but as you are yeah. not doing the reading practice so if you do the reading practice like you do the reading practice slowly you will be able to see a change in your way of speaking too like then you will be able to okay. uh, slow down a bit while speaking that is one and okay. that comes in the 
tonality that is 38 percent your tone your pace speed that really matters it is essential if you are working upon yeah. your communication yeah. that's right second i f uh, i found a bit like when you talk about singular third uh, singular uh, person yeah singular third person when you were talking about ashutosh he so when you say he so you should have used his instead of they so maybe a bit because yeah. of the you know uh, pace you just got confused i know you know that but yeah i understand at the same time that because of pace because of the bombardment of thoughts in our mind we you know make these yeah. uh, mistakes only very conspicuous mistake i found was pronunciation of also also you pronounced it also so just focus upon that also also yes yeah also so okay. always right i also have a student who used to pronounce it also then always no also always you can always or sound yeah. also always yeah also okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. I know very well. Not only also and always. I have so much poor, uh, you know, um, pronunciation that I have eleven years. My daughter, she always interrupt interrupt me. That mom, you are speaking wrong. You yes. should speak like this. Yeah. She always interrupts me. Interrupts me. Singular third person. She always she interrupts, interrupts, interrupts me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Interrupts Maybe me. You can focus yeah. a bit. Yeah, our meeting is going to end in just one minute. Anything that you want to tell or want to share at the end before we wind up the right session? Yeah, the session right here. Yeah, uh, I'm very thankful to you that you have connected with me and uh, you uh, gave me such a, a really, uh, I mean, very important feedback to me and I will try to implement, implement all those things upon me. And uh, yeah, and I would like to see you on the post of uh, tutor that always try to uh, correct a person. Yeah, because it's, it would be really helpful for everyone. Yes. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. I would just want to say that thanks for connecting to me. And it was really lovely talking to you. I didn't even realize how time flew. It was like we were engrossed yeah. in the conversation. So it was really lovely. Yeah, sure, Thank sure. you so much. Yeah. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.